some guy taking photos with the Leica R4S film camera. In this series, you get to join my photo expeditions as I shoot photos with different cameras. Today's camera is the Leica R4S film camera. This is a lovely Leica that first hit the market in 1983 and was the look of the Leica SLR line all the way to 1987 and the R7. The R4 set the design for all cameras up to and including the R7. The R4S was a simplified model at a slightly lower price than the R4. The R4 had program and shutter priority modes, whereas the R4S was hobbled to do aperture and manual exposure modes only. Today's lens is the Leica 50mm Sumicron R f2.0. This lens was manufactured in Canada around 1980. The film used today is the Ilford Delta 100 ASA black and white film. Super tight grain and amazing film quality. The GoPro mounted on top of the camera has about an 11mm field of view and the lens on the camera is 50mm. So the search will be wide and the final will be a tighter shot. Once shot, these film cans were processed at Downtown Camera in Toronto, Canada. I then touched them up in Lightroom. Today's theme is TIFF, the Toronto International Film Festival. I walked around and saw the venues where all the films were being shown. So let's see what we can get. Here we go with some guy taking photos. Starting at Young and Dundas, traveling south, this is the Elgin Winter Garden Theatre. Built in 1913, this is the last surviving Edwardian stack theatre in the world. The movies are shown in the lower theatre, which is called the Elgin, and it seats 2,150 people. Heading south and west of here is the Roy Thompson Hall. The TIFF takes over for the two weeks of the festival. The Roy Thompson Hall is the permanent home of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. It opened in 1982. The hall seats 2,630 guests. This is the outdoor red carpet area just outside the Roy Thompson Hall. Uh, the organizers are able to shepherd the stars through a huge amount of people and the credit card companies have carved out space to get their customers closer to the stars that walk the red carpet. The Ritz-Carlton Hotel is beside the square. Westbound along King is the Princess of Wales Theatre. This theatre opened in 1993 and it seats 2,000 people. Further along King, this is the Tiff Bell Lightbox Theatre, which operates year-round as a film screening theatre. Since 2010, uh, Tiff Bell Lightbox has been home of the festival. From here I headed north on John Street to the Scotiabank Theatre 
located at Richmond and John. This is a big movie theater with 14 screens and 4,500 seats for moviegoers. Stepping on the Queen Street streetcar eastbound, heading back to Young Street, there is one more theater. This one at Ryerson University. Go Raps. And now circling back to downtown camera to drop the film off for processing. In conclusion, this is a top drawer film camera, easy to use, and feels great in the hand. The electronics remain accurate after all these years, and the lens is crisp and clear. If you're looking for a 35mm film camera, this one should be on the list. That's it, that's all. If you enjoyed this photo adventure, please hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss the next Sun Guy Taking Photos Expedition. See you next time.